uh, Zooch, Karina with you, and we've got uh, Dr. Aaron's Rental Fi Care Specialist. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me in here. We are talking about 4th of July safety, and man, fireworks, a very dangerous thing this time of year. Yeah, it, it's, you know, uh, I'm in here basically talking about the safety because for us ophthalmologists, when we're on call, we actually see kind of a spike in, in patients over the really? over this holiday. Yeah. So you guys are actually on call on the 4th of July. It's like a, a big day to be on call. Then. Yeah, whoever's on call, at least for me and my training, we always hated that day because we knew Man. it was going to be a lot busier than what our normal call oh, would wow. be. So. I had no idea because you think 4th of July, you're thinking, oh, I mean, burn your fingers, this and that. Yeah, but, but well, it can those fireworks can explode in your face. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, and you know, there's thousands of injuries every year from fireworks, and actually about one in eight of those are eye traumas. Really? Yeah, and, and the eye traumas that we see aren't the normal just little burns because, like you said, you're looking down at the fuse and everything, and mm-hmm. when that explodes, right. you don't have time to get out of the way, and so... No. The the stuff that we see is usually a little bit more traumatic than just the normal little stuff. You know, we're talking about Man. ruptured eyes, um, severe corneal burns, Ugh. retinal detachments, optic nerve damage. In fact, you know, just just last yeah. year, I I had that exact case of a black powder burn, and and a gentleman came in and in the matter of moments, good vision to to having a really bad day. And so so we want to make sure that people are safe out there. You know, enjoy enjoy the festivities, but still be safe and and kind of take a second to take those precautions. Right, and what what can they do? I mean, of course, I suppose the first one is don't but don't point the firework at your eyes. <laughs> yeah, don't that, point it at your well, face or at anybody thing. else's that's, face. Right. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. And and you know, if you're going to you know the the main festivities, you know, the Duluth or the community, the professional um, festivities, you know, make sure that you just uh, respect the safety boundaries that they've made they're there for a reason right um if you do come across you know an unexploded firework leave it alone call the police call the fire department if you're doing the private setting obviously make sure you're doing the legal fireworks Mm -hmm. um there is a reason why there are laws out there it's true um but number one is don't let the kids light the fireworks um you'd be surprised but about 30 percent of all the injuries are children under the age of 15 Right, and so you know, even sparklers are burning at about eighteen hundred degrees. So, or eight, I'm sorry, eighteen hundred degrees Fahrenheit. So that's really hot, can cause a lot of problems quick. Yeah, I remember uh, when I was a kid. Well, back in the day, they just, yeah. they just your parents are like, here, here's a sack of fireworks. Have yeah, fun. go have fun. Yeah, you know, it was crazy back then. But yeah, you got to have those uh, guidelines, those rules. Uh, I mean, I don't let my little ones really. I, I get nervous when they have sparklers in their hand. Like mm-hmm. I said, it just gives me, uh, you know. Yeah, and, and even even for the adults, you know, bystanders, about 50% of the bystanders are the ones that get injured. But, you know, like I said, if you're there lighting the fuse, you're looking right at, at the explosive. Yeah, and it's dark you know, out, and you're like, it, It's dark out, you know, uh, especially for us I, I folks, safety glasses are actually kind of important because right. th- that can be the difference between having a small accident to having a really bad trauma. Mm-hmm. Ralph I care, where are you guys located? Um, we're located up in Hermantown. We're behind the Menards on Air Base Road. We're about, if you're coming off of 53 on Stebner, we're about a quarter of a mile down from the uh, federal prison there in the okay. airport entrance. And then if you're coming from Arrowhead, we're about a half mile down. And you can, guys can pretty much handle anything up there. I mean, you get, a, get your vision tested, yeah, we, glasses, contacts, everything. We do everything. We do everything from pediatric eye exam. We do full family care, glasses, contacts. We do laser vision correction, LASIK, PRK, mm. all the way up wow. from okay. taking care of the whole family to cataracts, macular degeneration, glaucoma. Right and on. We, we do all, run the gamut of all the surgeries as well. And do you guys have a website if people want to check that out? Yep, it's www.ralpheyecare.com. All right, Ralph Eye Care Specialist. Dr. Aaron's in the studio. Thanks for stopping in. You got big plans for the 4th? or uh, Just uh, some good family time up at the cabin. Right, All right. right. Well, well, have a good one, okay? Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. 738, the new morning show. It is new 92. Relax this summer with the refreshingly cool Mick Cafe.